Hey, hey, everybody. This is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to turn virtually any vector graphic into a custom frame for Canva. So let's go. So here we are in the first of the three helper apps that we need to make these custom frames. Now I'm going to link all three of these websites in the description below to make them easier for you to find. First, we're going to be using Vecteezy. So we're going to search for silhouettes. And the reason I say silhouettes, so I'm using silhouettes. They are one color designs and they're easier to use for frames right off the bat and ready to rock and roll. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually click here on free license because we want to make sure that we use graphics that have a free license. So let's find a good graphic we can use. Let's really use these butterflies over here. And as I said, they are free license and we're going to download them. And out of those graphics are downloaded, we can move on to the next website. Let's go. So the next website we're using is Cloud Convert. And what this is, this is the conversion website that allows you to convert a file from one format into another format. Vecteezy, when you download that graphic, it's going to be in a zipped file folder. So just use your built-in system software to unzip that file and get that EPS out of the folder. And we want to convert from an EPS, which is down here in the image format. Then I'm going to use the shortcuts over here and go from EPS to PDF. So this is what we want to do. EPS to PDF. Now let's go find the file. Here we are. Here's our zip file that we would get from Vecteezy. And here's the folder of the uncompressed zip file. So we're going to open this up and there's the EPS I want. Let's open that. So here we are, and it just want to ask us to be sure we're converting it to a PDF from whatever format that is, and we're going to hit convert. And when it is converted, you'll be able to see the file as we see it here. Then we can click download. Now that we're done with that, we can close that window, and now we can move on to our next website. Let's go. So here we are with Corel Vector. It is a free application, but you must sign in and create an account for it. It is well worth it. And we're going to go to create. And now that we have a blank document here, we're going to go find our converted file that we just made from Cloud Convert. So we're going to go to file, open local file, and then we're going to find the PDF that we made from Cloud Convert. And here's that PDF here. Let's get it open. And here is our PDF file ready to be made into a custom frame. Now, the great thing about this is we can make each of these separately into a custom frame or make the whole set. So in this case, I'm going to pick out two of these butterflies, the first two, and we're going to make custom frames out of that. So as I see here, we have a solid rectangle in the background. So let's click that and delete it. Here's, as you can see, we have a lot of compound paths and a lot of paths. We need to get all that cleaned up before we can make these into really nice frames. So the first thing we want to do is delete the stuff that we don't want. So let's go down to compound paths here. We want to keep that butterfly. We don't want that one. So we're going to click compound path for that. Hit delete. That one we do want. That one we want. And I'm guessing all these little paths have something to do with that butterfly. So let's scroll past this one. And I'm guessing that these paths must have something to do with that last butterfly. And it looks like I'm right about that compound path with that. So I'm guessing everything from here all the way to the top of the window has something to do with that last butterfly. So let's see if my guess is correct. We're going to click that first layer, then click on shift, click the top of it. And only that butterfly is highlighted, which is awesome. Now we're going to click delete. So now we have only the two butterflies that we want ready to be made in the frames almost. So now we have a compound path for that butterfly. Let's double click on that and call it butterfly one. Now my guess is that all these other paths will make up the other butterfly. We have another outline back here, which we don't want. Let's delete that. Okay. So we don't have the big rectangle lighting up anymore. So I'm guessing that all of these other paths, or the other butterfly. 
Now, I'm glad that we ran into this because this is going to help you as you make other vectors into custom frames. If you run into this situation where there's a lot of paths that make up your graphic, this is how you make it into one compound path that's going to work best for your frame. Highlight all of the elements that make up that graphic as you see here. Then we're going to right click on any of those layers and then go to join paths. Now, as you see, all of that is one single compound path and we can call it butterfly two. So now we have butterfly two and butterfly one that are complete compound paths that work on their own. Now we can scale both of them up a little bit, move them around and we're ready to rock and roll. The last thing that you need before these can be made into frames is a JPEG graphic. It can be anything. It can be a picture of you, be a landscape picture, whatever it is, as long as it's a JPEG graphic. And I have one of those graphics on my desktop already, and I'm going to drag that into this document from my desktop. So there's a JPEG graphic and I'm going to need two of these, but let's size them up to fill the whole butterfly. So that's the first one. I'm going to copy and paste. And there's the second one. And we're going to move both of these JPEGs to the back or to the bottom behind the butterflies. So now butterfly number one and the bottom piece here are those two pieces. So I'm going to click on that, then command click on the butterfly one to get those only those two elements. We're going to go to modify mask with shape. That one's done. So now we can drag across the other two and we're going to go modify mask with shape. So now we've just made two custom frames that are ready for Canva just that quick. So now let's export these files and get them into Canva. So we're going to go to file, export PDF document, and we want to export this as anything between 72 and 150 because vector graphics stay nice and sharp no matter what size they are because they're drawn with math versus being a raster graphic that's drawn with pixels. I'm going to go ahead and make this 150 DPI and they're exported now. Let's jump into Canva and see how these custom frames work. Here we are finally in Canva and we're going to go to create a design, import file. And as you see here, here's the file ready to open. So let's double click on that. Canva will load the file. Now we can open it. Now there's definitely one thing I want you to watch out for whenever you make a custom frame with Corel vector, sometimes there's remnants that are added to the graphic. It doesn't harm the file, but it's just things you got to look out for. that may be lingering in the file that you might need to take out. So how I fix that is I usually click on the overall shape of the Canva document and I make it a darker color so I can kind of see all the elements that are in it. Then I move the frames. You don't really need these. So I'm going to click them and delete them. So now I have the actual, custom frames ready to rock and roll. So let's click on that and we're going to delete the JPEG that I added to them. And you'll see the telltale sign of a custom frame with that landscape background graphic. And now we can fill these graphics with a video. We can fill these graphics with the photo or we can fill them with a color just that easy. So that's how you can make custom frames out of practically any vector graphic using a few helper websites. All right, y'all see you in the next video. Bye-bye.